Hello friends, welcome to the channel RetailConnect.com. Uh, we were discussing uh, the uh, hosting of the .NET Word application with MS SQL on uh, VPS Linux. Okay, so in the earlier part, we have discussed up to the installation of uh, Docker commands of uh, MS SQL, MongoDB, and Chat server. Okay, Chat server was on Node.js. Yes. Okay, so from now we will continue from NGINX. So we will show you the Docker file coding pro NGNX settings. OK, so from NGNX image Alpine version, we are just using the configuration file here as well. And we will copy this to NGNX configuration on the ETC NGNX. And again, we will copy this from here to default configuration and we will expose the default port as 80 and the entry point command will be the nginx global daemon off okay and in the nginx configuration we will have some configuration here for uh, reverse proxy okay so you can see we have uh, some worker connections here and uh, here we have defined upper stream of chat api and uh, this is the .NET Core API, which we have named it CV API. OK, so the server. This server is of chat server, which is of Node.js, so it is running on the port 4080. And this is the CV server of .NET Core, which will be using the 4081 port. OK, so now we will have listen 80 port server name chat API and server name is CB API. OK, so we have two servers. OK, so we will use the location slash chat API, which will listen the chat API. OK, and it will redirect all the routes to this chat API. OK, similarly, this is for the .NET Code API. This URL will work for .NET Code API, and this is the URL rewrite. OK, and this is for chat application for socket listening okay so this will listen on slash chat api uh, sorry http chat api it will be, uh, call the this server chat api and it will listen on this you are uh, route socket.io okay so on this three route we are just allocating this ports okay so this is the nginx part and now we will move for the server so you can see that this is the code for the uh, .NET code with entire architecture okay and we have solution here api business common and infrastructure as well okay so we will have the docker file here for this you can see uh, they are using the .NET Core SDK of because code is built in 3.1 version of .NET Core, and we will mark it as build. Okay, so again we here we will define the working directory. Uh, you can give whatever you want your name. Uh, we are just giving the app, and we have some environment variable here. ASP.NET Core environment is equal to production, and this is the port which we want to enable. Okay. Now what we will do, we will just copy the solution to the root of working directory again with the CS project file from this API business common into this their particular folders. OK, and then we will return the command dot net core restore, which will restore all the. Projects OK, now what we will do, we will copy all each and everything, whatever after the build restore is there, we will copy just to here. API will be copied to a uh, normal folder because uh, uh, we will just use this one. OK, and these are all supporting. OK. And we will use this working directory and we will run the command to create the publish in the out folder. OK. Now. This is the output folder. OK, after the build publish. OK. Now what we will do, we will have this uh, .NET Core ASP.NET 3.1 as a runtime, and then we will have again a define of uh, working directory productions uh, uh, just to set the environment there. Okay, 
and it will expose on 4G right code. Now what we will do, we will use the build, this build, first one build, okay. And uh, from build, we will just uh, use this out folder to get all these things, okay. After the uh, published, okay. So we will get all, all things from this out into the working directory. And now we will use this, uh, application name dot dll okay so we will use the command dot net okay so this is the simple code to run your sp dot net code application in docker okay now we will have some uploads folder mapping so we have it here and now we will go for the composing okay so this basically this uh, docker compose file will help to make all the connectivities between the containers and how they are related and how, which port are they are using and mapping okay these all things will be written here okay so one by one we will discuss so first things we have four separate things you can see we have sql database cbdb is the mongodb database here and we have a chat server which is for dotnet core uh, sorry uh, node.js api and this is the dotnet code api and this is the reverse proxy server okay and gnx engine okay so first of all we will go for sql db which is ms sql so it will take the build from this folder ms sql so it will go for there and we will search for the docker file there okay all the commands will be fetched out from this folder it will expose this port we have some volumes mapped here because uh, this will be mapped with your MySQL data. You can see it here. Data is the folder, and this will be mapped inside this. This will be mapped. This, this all, this all path will be uh, in your container. So every time you will run this um, Docker compose command, it will uh, recreate this one. So we will have to map all these things here so that we will not miss uh, any data or something settings or some things. Uh, after each run okay so this is the port which we are mapping internal to the external use okay this is the internal container use uh, port which is exposing and this is the uh, external port which from which a user will be able to list uh, use okay so this is the environment so whatever will the password this is the dummy password except ULA will be set to yes okay so this is the sql server okay now we will have mongodb so image mongo will use we have some username password environment variables here username password mongodb database name we have the default port okay mapped they start always if there is some error we have volume mapped similarly with the Mongo, this will be the internal path and this will be the output so that uh, after each run, your data will be secured. Okay. Now we will have the chat server, which is the Node.js application. Uh, which again, it will find for the chat. So this path will here and it will open the Docker file and it will run all the commands, expose the port 4080. We start always if you have something environment variable you can define it here we have volumes mapped from the images so chat images folder all the images will be saved to this uploads folder so this is the upload folder okay links is that we are using the cvdb that is mongodb inside our chat server so we are linking that database with it okay. now we have the dotnet code again the same everything is just same okay only the change is here we are linking the sql database with this dotnet code application it is listening to the server folder this is the server folder it will look for the docker file here okay again if there is some uploads it will go in the upload folders okay and the last is the nginx it will go for the nginx folder it will restart always port 80 is the internal port and external port from user build listen is 4500 and it is linking both 
that CV server and the chat server. So you will get this all in here, written here, CV server and chat server. So this is the CV ser chat server and CV server, and they're both ports. And we are using the reverse proxy here to use this. Okay. So this is a simple application. You will just have to copy this on your uh, server, VPS server, and you will have to run the command docker compose build and up okay so you will have to uh, don't have to write any code there only just have to install the docker there so that your docker command will docker docker and docker compose commands will also you have to install their docker compose as well okay and uh, this is the simple command okay so you can see this is the not uh, things which we have done and uh, if i will show you that uh, in browser uh, after the successful this is the link uh, which the code is running there and this is the application which have the dotnet code application there are some chat applications here which is using the mongodb and sql everything is there on the production okay so the code we will so we have shown you is the demo code okay which is uh, just to show you and this is the live offset code okay so thanks for watching this session uh, we will come with another uh, such videos so stay tuned uh, like this video share this video and subscribe our channel thanks for watching